China's Chang'e 5 lunar probe is planned for launch in late November. It will collect lunar materials from a previously unexplored region of the moon's near side and bring moon samples back to Earth. The last lunar sample return was the Soviet Union's Luna 24 in 1976. The Chang'e 5 probe is expected to make four breakthroughs in China's aerospace history. Its first lunar sample collection, first takeoff from the moon, first rendezvous and docking on the lunar orbit 380,000 kilometers away from Earth, and the first return flight to Earth with the samples at a speed close to the second cosmic velocity. Why is China's Chang'e program a milestone in the history of human space exploration? To take things to the next level and return samples from the moon demonstrates significant technological capability, says Carolyn van der Bogart, a planetary geologist at the University of Münster, Germany. Rocks obtained from previous U.S. and Soviet lunar missions show that volcanic activity on the moon peaked 3.5 billion years ago, which has weakened before stopping completely. However, observation on the surface of the moon suggests that some areas may contain volcanic lava formed only 1 to 2 billion years ago. If the samples Chang'e 5 brings back confirms that the moon was still active at that time, we will rewrite the history of the moon, said Xiaolong, a planetary geologist at China University of Geosciences. Countries all over the world have carried out over 100 space missions to the moon since the 1960s and obtained a great deal of scientific data about it. As the first lunar exploration activity in China, the Chang'e program witnessed the development of China's space technology and was also an important milestone in the history of human space exploration. Chinese aerospace scientists began to study the necessity and feasibility of lunar exploration back in 1994. China officially began the lunar exploration program named after the Chinese moon goddess Chang'e in 2004. China's lunar exploration can be divided into three stages, namely unmanned lunar exploration, manned lunar exploration, and the construction of a lunar base where human beings can temporarily stay. Unmanned lunar exploration is currently underway following the three main operational phases, orbital missions, landing, and sample return. China National Space Administration released the first lunar image taken by Chang'e 1 on November 26. Chang'e 2 has obtained more detailed lunar surface image data and lunar polar surface data. Chang'e 3 probe was the first Chinese spacecraft to complete a soft landing on an extraterrestrial object. It completed the first geological profile of the moon Chang'e 4 completed the world's first soft landing, roaming, and survey on the moon's far side. At present, China has finished the phases of orbital missions and landing with probes from Chang'e 1 to Chang'e 4. Sample return, which is undertaken by Chang'e 5 probe, will be conducted during the third phase. Chang'e 6 will explore the south pole of the moon and bring samples back. Chang'e 7 will study the moon's terrain, composition, and space environment in an overall mission, while Chang'e 8 will focus on experiments on the surface of the moon and technological application. China's active lunar exploration has aroused some international suspicions. However, Chang'e is the goddess of peace, not war. China has always been open to cooperation with other countries in lunar exploration. Chang'e 4 involved many international cooperation projects, including four scientific payloads developed by scientists from the Netherlands, Germany, Sweden, and Saudi Arabia. The isotope heat source, co-developed by China and Russia, ensured the safety of Chang'e 4 through the night on the moon. The Argentine Deep Space Station, built by China in South America, participated in the measurement and control mission. The European Space Agency's Measurement and Control Station also played a supporting role. 
China and the United States cooperated to observe the Chang'e 4 probe by using the American Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, LRO, in lunar orbit. In recent years, countries around the world have paid more attention to lunar exploration. Russia, India, Japan, and some other countries have made plans to land on the moon. Since 1972, human beings have never landed on the moon. Will the next person to land on the moon be Chinese?